Let me ask mm. you this then. How do you know which top of funnel ads are, are being effective to build your audiences in the middle of the funnel? Man, that is a great question. If you <laughs> just repeated that question backwards, I'll you tell would you, have your answer. I will tell you that is one of the biggest uh, pains in the butt for us running our own advertising is we have a lot of cold traffic ads. Um, you know, and they're going to podcast episodes like this one. They're going to content we've got on our blog. And then what we're doing is we're retargeting those people, um, middle of the funnel, hot seven ads. We'll get into that kind of stuff, but we're retargeting a lot of those people to, you know, offers and, and other stuff, but we never really know which of these top of the funnel ads are the most effective at building these middle of the funnel retargeting campaigns. Okay. So the first thing what I would do, because you are brilliant individuals, is your top of funnel is going to be pretty easy to do, but this is why we record it and we talk fast. I'll give you the step-by-step -step of what to do. While you're interviewing your guest in a pre-interview, just like we did, I would ask them or post-interview, hey, look, I'm going to go ahead and run this in my top of funnel. So I'm really curious, Kurt, you have your own brand. Who's your perfect audience that you like to target top of funnel? Or would you be willing to share any of your lookalike audiences with us or like your email audience, because you can't steal the audience, but you can run your ad to that audience. And if you want to spend your money to advertise to my email list, you don't get access to my list. I'm just sharing the audience. You can't create a lookalike. Mm. Okay. Why not? It only helps you, right? Yeah. So what happens is this. I'd ask your guest, who do you target for your personal, they have a personal brand for your personal brand? Because I'm going to run this top of funnel as well too. Oh, and by the way, if you have any warm audiences that you would be open to share, I'd run that as well. Mm. Now, now what's gonna happen is, is you can run that like a video like this. What I would personally do is I would take a four or five minute snippet. Mm. Some people like to do a minute. I mean, you guys have a great podcast, so maybe you take a minute. I like to do a, bit, a little bit longer. That's just me, but you guys are entertaining. So let's just, I don't know, let's just, uh, so by the way, the reason I say a minute is because that will run on, uh, that will run on Instagram. Uh -huh. Anything over a minute will only run on Facebook. But what I look at is this top of funnel. If I'm running a four minute video and it cost me 20 cents to have someone watch 75%, it just cost me 20 cents to spend three minutes with me. That's great. Right. If I can get them to listen to your podcast for three minutes, if I can get them to watch us for three minutes for 20 cents, you don't need a lead or a website click or any of that. That's it. Mm -hmm. So you can literally run that top of funnel three to five dollars a day. And what I look for is I don't care about the clicks because I'm optimizing for website views, a website or a video view. A website click could be a dollar, but a video view could be three minutes instead of a website click that's 15 seconds. Mm -hmm can literally run this for three to five dollars a day. Like I would test through, I test three different top of funnels where it's like, hey, client, you want to share or hey, uh, interviewer, uh, interviewee, you want to share two of your audiences, great. And then I would test a lookalike audience and then maybe a cold audience that I would suggest your interviewee suggest. So testing four audiences. And you can start these at three dollars a day. That's it. It's just three bucks. Mm. And what happens is if someone watches 25% or 50 or 75, or 95, they're gonna roll into this next middle of funnel that we're gonna talk about the hot seven. So you're not retargeting people who just watch for 10 seconds. You're retargeting people who watch. This is why I like doing videos that are three or four minutes, not just a minute. Mm -hmm. So you can easily see literally spend $3 a day after four days, wow, I spent uh, 12 bucks, people didn't really watch, 12 bucks people didn't watch. Wow, I noticed that people are watching for 50 cents, they're watching the entire video. I'm just gonna let these run for $3 a day and then it's gonna cascade down to these exact same videos, exact same ones are running for a dollar a day mid funnel. So once these people watch, mm -hmm. and I'd like to talk about this technology in a minute if you don't mind, but once people watch, now all of a sudden they see it over and over, but they're not seeing like a regular retargeting ad, buy now, buy now, buy now. They're like, oh man, they're interviewing Russell Brunson. Did they just interview so and so? Did they just, man, what are they doing? And these are all five cents, 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents, a lot cheaper. Hi there. Thank you for. <laughs> just 
Just leave it. Just keep rolling. All right. Keep yeah, rolling. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching that quick tip. It was amazing. You're amazing. And to get more from us, uh, basically the best place is to sign up for the Weekly Profit. Theweeklyprofit.com. I really should have put it on the whiteboard, huh? That would have been yes, smart. Yes, you should, but we're not that smart. So it's at theweeklyprofit.com. It's basically a little digest email that we sent one per week, and you'll see all the cool stuff from that week, totally free stuff that you'll love. If you love these, you'll love that. Theweeklyprofit.com. You'll get some stuff from that guy as well, and we'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.